We've got 99 team builders in Hut, and this isn't your Jamie Alexiak or Nick Antropov or whatever gigantic player jacked up to 99. These are probably the best selection of players deserving of it and extremely big names. Let's get into it. Our first of three 99 overall cards, we've got the 99 Rob Blake. I had a feeling that this was coming simply because he never received a power-up icon, and it was one of the more odd choices because he's such a big name. But more importantly, he is the perfect build as well in Hockey Ultimate Team. He's got every ability that you could look for. He's got every synergy that you would need, including Enforcer Defenseman. But really, you don't have to worry about any of the synergies because he's essentially 99 everything. His endurance is at 92, but you can mess around with synergies to get that jacked up as well. He's got Gold Truculence, which is, again, one of the best abilities this year. Quick Pick has proven to be useful. Born Leader. Elite Edges, Silver 1T, and Thunderclap. Again, in my personal opinion, this is the best selection of max out 99 team builders we've ever gotten. I think Rob Blake is a perfect highlighted player. One of the best defensemen, one of the best in game, and he gets 99s across the board. Our first selection, absolutely love it. Up next is the 99 Eric Lindros. Again, another card that fits perfect with the 99 Hut playstyle. On top of that, another legit star team builder in his own right when he was still playing. At 6'4", 240, he's fantastic size. Again, synergies really don't matter. This card comes with gold elite edges, which I've been so mixed on this year. I think in prior games, it's been almost useless at the end stages of the game, but there's something about elite edges this year that has to be a little bit more effective. He's got silver back at you, which is fun. Unstoppable force, truculence, make it snappy, and silver quick draw to go with those 99 face off. There's really nothing else you could want in this card. He is one of the perfectly built cards for Hockey Ultimate Team. He has all of the good abilities that you're looking for. Maybe Snipe as well would be kind of fun, just given the buff to it. But an all-around incredible card. And then lastly, they went and did it. Perfect choice. No bias, obviously. But the true representation of a team builder. One of the greatest passers of our generation, the 99 Joe Thorpe. 6'4", 220, maxed out skating stats, which has never really happened with Joe Thornton cards. He's got gold total eclipse, which is a little interesting, but with the recent buff, could be fun. Puck on a string, big tipper, unstoppable force, quick draw, and tape to tape. Now, I'll be honest with you. When it comes to abilities, Joe Thornton probably has the worst selection of them. But there is no way around that at this stage of the game and for the remainder of the game, this is going to be one of the best cards that you can use, and you can use him anywhere in your lineup. Whether you want to use him on the wing or take advantage of the fact that he's huge and has 99 face-offs with silver quick draw, total eclipse since the buff. I haven't really gotten to use it a lot, but I am excited. It has a very unique feature. Talked about this all year. It will light up when your player is screening the goaltender, meaning that you know for a fact the goalie is in a screen state. Absolutely love this selection. I get that I'm a biased Sharks fan, but in my opinion, there isn't many other better choices for a maxed out team builder than what Joe Thornton did for the Sharks and in his generation. Absolutely love. It. Now, when it comes to the cost, nothing really new here. It is following the same path of trading in two of the prior team builder cards to get one of these new now 99. So any of the two 96 overall team builders will net you one of these 99. I'll have a video going over the situations and which cards I think that I would recommend if you are going to trade in two. I know a lot of people at this stage of the game, it, you basically had to have been playing since launch to have a shot at two, not just let alone one. You basically would have had to have been playing since launch to have a shot at two of them, let alone one. But I apologize. Regardless of rank and if this is intelligent because it's not the best selection, Heatley and Pronger, you have been absolutely soldiers for the squad, but there is no way I am passing up on a finally unbelievable Joe Thornton card in Hockey Ultimate Team. Now, doing the math here, if you are looking to actually make one of these and maybe you haven't made any of the team builders up to this point, you're kind of out of luck, and I apologize for anyone that's maybe new to the game, you picked it up late. I just want to do some quick math here for you. Let's say you can get every card for a team for 800 coins. That's 20,000 to get an 84 overall, which you need 6 of to make an 87, which comes out to 120,000 coins for an 87. Now you need 2 87s to make one of the 90s. 240,000 coins in value. To make the 93s, you need 2 of those. 480k to make a 93 overall team builder. This is where the 
the price gets insane because to make 196 it is going to cost 293s which is 960,000 coins in value if you could get every card at 800 coin which then of course you need 296 overall team builder cards which would run you 1.9 million coins for a 99 overall team builder like i said good luck guys if you haven't started yet but for everyone that's been playing since the start of the game we've got some great choices Again, I'll have a video going over the recommendations I have if you've got multiple and you're trying to make a choice between one or two of the 99. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. I gotta be honest, Joe Thornton aside, I think these are great picks for 99 overall given the 99 selections that we've had in years past. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.